Hello everybody, this is Shirley, and this is So Too We Begin Embroidery. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I am going to do a vintage cut work napkin, and it uh, consists of a design that utilizes the vintage cut work process that you attach to your napkin or you sew onto your napkin. And I'm pretty sure that you've seen it before. It's very beautiful. It's lace, but then you do the cutout as well, or the cut work to make it look very distinct from just plain lace stitched on top of linen or some type of uh, other material. And so I'm gonna give this a try, see how it turns out. Uh, vintage is in now. There are so many things that are being done that is considered vintage. Uh, vintage fonts and different types of Chanel and different types of lettering. All kinds of uh, lace things are being done, lace earrings. It's just a vintage uh, barrage of things. So I thought I would try my hand at this vintage cut work. So come along and follow me as I go through the process and do one of my dinner napkins and hopefully everything turns out well. And uh, as I said, thank you for stopping by. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That's very important. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I put up videos. Also, when I do my live stream, which is every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And please share this video with other people that have like minds, like you, that enjoy anything that has to do with embroidery and most importantly with the 10 needle machine because I do most of my videos with that. So without further ado, I'll get started on this project. So what you would need for this particular project is um, the napkin that you're going to use, of course which I have this um, kind of brownish beige one. You're going to need violin or some type of freestanding lace, water-soluble uh, stabilizer. I use violin, V-I-L-I-E-N-E, -I, -E -E, I believe is how, how it's spelled. That's what I use for my freestanding lace. And then you're going to need some adhesive spray. You're going to need a uh, spool of thread and bobbin that match. Now, I don't have a empty bobbin for my embroidery machine, my tin needle. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to do white. And it'll be okay. It'll still be pretty. But the bobbin and the top thread needs to match. And you're going to need a sharp pair of scissors because you're going to have to do the cutout. And I always like to have these very um, pointed tweezers because it helps me to grab things and get the thread and everything so I can cut and and uh, of course your design so that is all you need for this particular project okay I have my design on my uh, uh, the USB into my machine and this is the the design that I'm going to be doing and I am going to go ahead and get it set up in order to stitch it out the first thing, this is step one, is to go ahead and set everything up, get it traced, get the color assigned, and then I'm going to stitch out the first positioning line. And once I get the first po positioning line stitched out, then I'll be ready for step two. I have traced out my um, design, so now I'm going to go into, let me get a little closer, I'm going to go into this icon and that will take me to this screen which I will be able to choose my um, colors and where I want my hand to stop and number one is going to be the uh, positioning line and that is going to be I'm going to put that in on silver so I'm going to select uh, number six for number one and then the hand and then number two will be my tack down stitch and that will also be 
number six and then I'm going to put the hand and then the last two will be my actual colors which are both um, number nine so I have all of that um, ready to go now I am um, pretty much ready to go ahead and get started with the stitching which would be the tack the the um, running stitch positioning line so the machine is going to stitch the running stitch And because I have my hand on, it it um, automatically stopped. <clears throat> now I'm going to take the hoop off and tape down my napkin. Then I'll put it back on and then it will be ready to do the tack down stitch. Once I finish with the tack down stitch, then I will be doing the cutout. And once I have completed the cutout, then I will be ready to stitch the rest of the um, lace design. Now I'm going to take it off and I am going to cut it out, put it back on, then it will be ready to stitch out the rest of the lace. So here is the finished product. All four of the napkins with the lace and everything looking really good. Happy with the results and how everything managed to turn out 
pretty good. Uh, only had a few little hiccups along the way, but nothing spectacular, nothing that was difficult. The project is pretty easy to do. Just follow the simple instructions and you can have a pretty set of cut work, freestanding lace, napkins, or anything else that you would be interested in doing. Here I have them on my dining room table. Looking really cute. Fitting in really well with the decor. And you can see my little small dining room table or dining room. But this is how it looks. I think it turned out really well and it works really good with my, my set and my area. So, thank you for watching. I hope this is something that you would consider trying. The cut work freestanding lace is not difficult to do, so give it a try. So again, thank you for stopping by, watching my video. If you have not subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. If you can give me a thumbs up and share this with anybody that's interested and also be sure to hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I put my next video up and plan to join me every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. live stream on YouTube and Facebook so to we begin embroidery. I think the one on Facebook is so to sew stitches and things but plan to join either one of those lives on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Hope to see you there. Bye.